make way for a really good Slark pick here. If a single arrow from the Mirana connects, it could spell disaster. And knowing that Yudi Vezuan, they are going to answer it with a Naga Siren. As okay, they're still going to try it thanks to Naga Siren's amazing amounts of armor reduction. Young PH, he does seem to be playing it slightly advantageously. But, okay, now another kill happening. Slark, he is supposed to run down Master's death drop all the time. He is supposed to have such an easy lane here. And instead you can see him constantly for his back and then Lun is in danger. And Lun, he cannot afford to die again here. But with the cop connecting on him immediately, he will. And Yuri Vezuan, the side of Yang on Galactico. Slark is a bit of a comeback hero. But Naga is the type of hero that loves to disable comebacks that she is. But other than Young PH missing his Storm Spirit, I still think that... Oh no, Yang on Galacticos, what are you doing? KSH, he thinks he can get a kill on Boom Bui. It isn't gonna be enough though, and while Naga makes himself a killing spree happen on the bottom lane, that is gonna be Lun killed off by Boom Bui as well. Seven in this gang that Yang on Galacticos are now also going for. Three people all running down KNP. KNP gets stunned up. Illusory Orb is there and Puck with the nuke damage will do him in. Naga Siren, the hero you need to kill the most right now. She is still sitting on top of net worth by a huge margin. But Yang on Galacticos, they really just need enough. Earthshaker could be in a bit of trouble as he gets caught on the front line, but skill A's burst damage is still too much. Skill A now low health himself to the board with kisses, and that means he is gonna go down as Puck has to die for the plus one kill there, but it's one for three. For the side, they are by no means in too good of a position here. So it is still only 10 minutes into the game, and they need to hold this gold lead for another 10 minutes with that Beastmaster kill. They may actually be able to do so though, as look at the damage BB does with a double damage rune, and he will find himself another kill on Lan. Could now be looking for skill lay. Has a remnant now. They are gonna set up on the Death Prophet. Death Prophet doing her best to heal on up with the double spirit type. Masa still tanking through this and down goes. Not one but two. BB getting the second double kill in the same life. As now the hook shot connects onto the puck. With stay of fist, puck is just bad here. In certain Dota 2 patches, but it's nowhere near as common. Now Ember Spirit is gonna get himself locked down, silenced up, axed up, and killed off as well. That is a nice and juicy kill as BB. He was worth a gajillion. Not actually a gajillion, but you know, at this point in the game, almost a thousand gold for a single kill is really, really good for Yang and Galacticos. Yang and Galacticos, they want more than a single kill. Would love to find another one, and Lion X will be found as now Clockwork does enable the turnaround from the Her damage output, she may actually be, is still gonna take fat damage to the face himself, but KNP manages to walk back. Says BB, you take it from here. Instead, Boom Bui gets nailed by that arrow, and that is gonna make four kill on the clockwork. And now Lan goes down to the Death Prophet, who will secure a double kill, still making that two for one trade. At least Yang on Galacticos, they did manage. As that may not be the best carrier you have for it, but it is the only kill that you cannot afford to feed away as UD Vezuan right now. UD, they are looking for a shot to chase, but KSH, he jumps. Tech speed where you want to be to move. Man fight the carry and Stark suddenly becomes surprisingly scary. You know, in what other scenarios Stark is surprisingly scary? If an Ember Spirit initiates a little bit too early for his team to be there, now the follow up does connect as Lun goes on down with the Death Prophet as well as the Mortimer's Kisses. But Stark still. Stark is gonna try to initiate. On Boom Booey, Boom Booey gets saved with Cookie Slark now, gets silenced up. A nice Beast Master Roar keeping the Death Prophet in place. They want to get the Slark Ultimate from coming out. They do manage to do so at the exchange of the first life on the Naga Siren, but that was only her Aegis, meaning they are gonna try to keep fighting and will catch the Beast Master, interrupting his CP. Ember Spirit now looking to catch for more, will find the Mirana, providing vision on her for his team to kill her off. Actually, BB, he is gonna take the kill himself for. Puck comes on in, looking to go on the clockwork instead, accidentally jumps into some Mortimer's Kisses, has to jaunt himself out of there immediately after. And young PH, he may be able to... Still a bit unfortunate, as Yuri Vesemann would have guaranteed had that kill. Otherwise, Slark being ran at, being chased for his life. Ember Spirit, though, with the cookie, is gonna finish him off, and that is a kill on KSH. 
That need to do that, Yudi Vezuan, they are probably gonna lose their Ember Spirit to the Chains then, yeah. BB, he does force them to commit the Echo Slam and a lot of big resources just to make sure he goes on down. And skill there for the Ember Kill, that would be huge too. And Illusions slowly but surely working on the tier 3 tower. As UD Vezuan, they do have to end this game before Slark miraculously finds a comeback. He has done so every single game where we had him in this situation so far, throughout the Moon Studio September mood. And I would love for Slark to at least too squishy on that Slark as he doesn't even get to press pounds after getting initiated on like that anymore. He just dies. Well, against the Naga Siren, anyone just dies. That's kind of obvious as KNP takes away the Lun Earthshaker. And only a Snapfire is down for that so far on the side of Yudi Vezuan, and I gotta say, Yango Galacticos, they have done an excellent job finding this Snapfire on the backline every time. But this is a nice smoke, but though Hookshot is in position, Cockwood, he was sitting around the corner, seeing that initiation coming already, and he is gonna find the Earthshaker, as now Beastmaster goes down as well, not even able to press war. KSH, he is gonna try to set up a kill, is gonna find Lion X, but guess what, with Song of the Siren now, both Slark and the Puck are going to be stuck in a very bad spot. Both managed to juke themselves out of there. However, without that Beastmaster ultimate, Yang armor and health regen, he can just face tank the tower while pushing that down. Now we are going to see Yang gun run the Slark up the high ground for a Yolo kill on the Snapfire button and instant text is there. That probably revealing the Sheep Stick and that makes Slark's fight turn south real quick. Lan gets killed off by BB and BB he wants more. He is looking to dive on the Slark, a Song of the Siren, just keep him in place for the duration of the Shadow Dance, and he gets caught, he gets killed up with the Bloodthorn. With that Exorcism from the Death Prophet, Slark is gonna teleport behind him, is feeling this fight. However, Death Prophet, she did get the Exorcism heal exactly when you needed it, so guess what? She is gonna be fine, instead BB gets turned on, he throws out the Remnant, is gonna get killed up. Song of the Siren comes out for the Naga to set up on the Slark, and Slark is gonna go down again for that. And they got BB once, but BB, he buys back, he jumps back to his remnant, he gets a double kill, makes that a triple kill, and he says anyone else wants some of this, as GG is called. Shocking from Lan. Yeah, that is shocking if you're Yang on Galacticos. Though, so with that Naga last pick, I kind of saw this coming. I wasn't sure whether Slug's comeback potential wasn't enough, because the last time I work. You now select your heroes. Uh, Dark Willow plus Mars combo, which is a huge combo that just a matter or two ago was being kicked by down. UD Vezuan, they know they need to win this top lane, like, by a lot. And they will find the Dazzle, however, in exchange for the Mars, it is not looking to be a one lane right now, as Mars already worth two more gold than the Dazzle. And mind you, we are even three minutes into the game. Speaking of not even being... Young P8 taking tons and tons and tons of damage and he is and they now look for a valuable kill on the bad rider. Bad rider, he is gonna get stun locked up. BB gets all of his mana burn. There is an attempt to save him, but the attempt is not gonna be good enough as now Lion X is in a good position to find a nice tombstone but doesn't have any more mana for follow-up. Guy Ref Mage is just gonna go for a TP out of the back of that shallow grave and Lion X trying to survive through with the decay is just gonna go more because yeah the alchemist whose main task is gonna be to fight the naga heads on oh speaking of heads on fights lion x he cannot take on two by himself he thought he was safe thanks to his smoke because maybe elder titan is a lot more overpowered than he should be on the mid lane skyref gets found and this could be a good fight for the side of Yuri Vezuan if they keep everyone alive. Willow is gonna survive that pulverize. Dazzle gets feared, so he cannot sh cast Shadow Grave, and that is a perfect 1 2 3 combo. Yuri Vezuan, they know exactly what each hero wants to do and support. If you're a Mars or something. Oh, there is the three man arena still being found, even though they saw the Mars teleport and they are not able to position themselves around for the full time. And it's Three man fear comes in from the Dark Willow as they are now all stuck on the tombstone. Dazzle is just that he's got a Shadow Grape to try and make space. That Shadow Grape is not gonna keep 
him alive for much longer, but hey, he did make space for a Lion X kill. Now the question is, do Yang or Galacticos want to try and turn this fight around? Bad Rider, he comes in, he sees the chance for a really good Molotov thing. Well, Alchemist, he is starting to farm faster and faster. Right, for every passing minute, he's now got his Radiance, and it's gonna start tearing through his text. But there is the Arena Initiation, Lion X, he got dropped right off the bat. Skyrim Mage is gonna die in exchange for that, and so will Young PH. You did take out the two big spell damage dealers on the side of Yangon Beauty, Vezuan. And Skyrim Mate is gonna face tank the front of the initiation. He is gonna be fine thanks to a nice pulverize onto BB, at least for now, as Skill A does go on down to the arena. And Young PH gets dropped once again. Beauty, Vezuan, they do keep finding these good team fights. Clear themselves up A onto the Invoker, but with the Dark Willow here and a Molotov. Knocking him into that first move to make sure he has to walk through the second. Is still gonna set him up for a kill with the Firefly. And now they have that lasso still available for the Primal Beast. Hood, uh, Hood, we can say Dark Willow, I mean, is gonna go down. But guess what? Primal Beast dies for that. And with that, you are still very happy with the fight you've initiated as the side of Yuri Vezuan. And they are, in fact, so happy that they are gonna keep going for the support. And we'll find both of them due to a beautiful spear straight into the arena wall. Guess what? Now the real Naga is there. And it's gonna keep the real Alchemist brute to prevent Dyer's that concoct is something Alchemist deals well enough with thanks to his build and health lead regen and the mischance chance from the Radiance as well. You know, it's a very well-rounded hero for dealing with Naga it is when they are hitting you. Your offensive capabilities against the Naga may not be the greatest, but who needs that when there is just a free kill getting set up by the Mars and it's not so free with the Dark Widow dying instead. Which means now the Naga comes on in, would love to initiate on Masa on the Mars. And Mars, he is ticking down slowly, but he is ticking down now. In comes the Bat Rider, looking for a big lasso. Is just gonna get a kill on the Skyrim Mage, who cannot teleport out of there in time. And now they found the real Naga. Do they have the lasso this time around? Nope, not quite. Five more seconds remaining on that. Concoction, it is eat, but they need to turn this lead into objectives if they want to keep themselves in the game. And now Bat Rider, he really doesn't like the Skyrim Mage. Simple ass. Kills him off every single time for those annoying silences. He pounded out the bad right initiations to finally get that Naga Siren kill. They haven't killed off the Naga Siren a single time, and it's starting to show. Boom Boy, he does instead get down. That is just a small support, and guess what? Now Lion X goes down as well, but you once again spot the real Naga Siren this time around without a song, meaning Alchemist is just gonna start punching away at her. And with the last of the Keeper there, KSH is dropping and dropping and dropping. Firefly, but there is the Shadow Grave to try and keep him alive for longer. KSH still running out. Can they catch him? The Molotov's probably gonna do it. Dazzle, do you have healing against this? Yes, actually he will. However, Dazzle is gonna die for that. I mean, your Naga Siren list and Yuri Vezuan, they specifically committed a dieback with the hopes of fighting. Defensive Arena isn't gonna find that. Is now gonna find that though with the BKB being pressed. He just waited for them to initiate on him first. And a really nice turnaround from the Mars. This time around the concoction is gonna land and look at the damage Alchemist is doing to the Naga once he's able to get a couple of hits in. Finally KSH dies. 30 minutes catching the Primal Beast to then go for the Naga. Would have worked way better. But Yuri Vezuan, they are still the aggressors. They are still the ones looking for initiation. And that's just how they like to play it. Skill lay. He is gonna get one man arena. Cause yeah, Skyrim Mage, he doesn't have enough skill damage to just trap all over you. Building damage with fortification, it's not gonna be enough, so Naga Siren now attempts to get caught, and she will be caught with a stun, with every stun being thrown at her, even as Link is here protecting her, but well, guess what, that Link is here is not gonna be enough when you get four stuns thrown at you at once. That's not even an overcommitment, even with the Dark Willow dying there, I think Yuri Vezuar are so freaking happy for the fighting side of the argument. And yeah, it's gonna be a lasso initiation onto the Invoker saying with the Blink Dagger we have sufficient initiation range. They even dropped the Mars Arena knowing Invoker doesn't have a buyback. Uh, well, strongly is a lot more effectively. And that will be the first many rack of the game taken by the side of Yuri Vezuan here. Yuri Vezuan, they will now kill off that Skyref Mage. And okay, Naga. Her shot at revenge against KMP's Alchemist, but KMP he pressed the BKB which makes you pretty resilient for the Naga Siren. And that is the range track taken alongside it. KNP, apparently he's gonna accept the fact that some dying dies there or not. 
Ooh, they almost find skill lay on the Skyrim mage. A nice save comes in from some of the sirens. And that fountain dive attempt from the Mars may just get Judy Vesemann punished. However, Alchemist, he's still working on the mid lane. He just wants objectives out of this. And I just don't think this is one of those useless Radiance games. BB, he is gonna get ran down. However, he is gonna survive thanks to the BKB as Lun instead on that Dazzle gets killed up in the back lines. BB with a blink still keeping himself alive and he is gonna proc that refresh to now be able to run down this Naga Siren. Naga Siren goes for a nice song setup. Try and live, but guess what? Mars is once again there with the spear waiting for the TP to come out. KSH, his TP plays have been amazing throughout the game, but maybe he has gone for those cheeky teleports. It seems like they have things under control. Because it's not just the Alchemist, it's the Bad Rider and the Mars getting really rich too. Well, if that rich Bad Rider just gets slammed into the ground during his BKB, making Undying unable to press spells, maybe not. But that huge initiation from the Primal Beast is still not enough as Mars, the other fat hero. I just mentioned who we didn't see in that fight. Guess what? He was running down the back lines. Maza, he is doing so much up down, is gonna buy back. But how much is the buyback gonna do? There is a pulverize. They are gonna try and they will get the alchemist. Engine's still alive. Okay, maybe Yangon have not lost everything yet. They have lost everything other than that Naga Siren buyback, but the Naga Siren buyback is enough to enable a double kill for young people. Naga Siren, there is no need to be afraid. And instead of the Naga Siren, who is very much weary, they catch the Skyrim Mage, who was also scared for his life, but the support, he is not gonna get backup from anyone if he wants to go in a dangerous position. So Lun goes on down next, in come the meatballs onto BB, who is gonna press the refresher orb though, and turn around on the invoker. Invoker gets saved with a nice thing here, but only for so long as the spear comes on in end. Now that is gonna be the first time of the Naga Siren taken away. KNP still standing there, ready to go at her the next time. And Naga Siren with the Lewis is still trying to stand her ground. BKB gets struck to deal with the alpha damage a little bit. It's gonna negate a lot of the damage as it is spell. There's an Alchemist with the BKB. During that time of the Siren is almost killing off young PH there, as well as forcing AT back for those defense plays. However, just having a good hero in a good spot isn't enough to win you the team fights anymore as Naga Siren getting knocked back and forth. The real Naga does do huge amounts of damage with the BKB. You do not want to be in a position to get knocked around in the first place. Naga Siren is dead and they are still holding it. Now AT goes on down and GG gets called. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be 2-0 for our second game of the playoffs here. With that, Judy Vesuan are going to pay...